morning, people. How's it going? I'm so sorry I'm late. It was an important call that I couldn't miss, so that's why I'm extremely late. I've never been this late to a stream before. This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for myself right now because I'm so late for stream. No, it was um it was an important call because it was about school related stuff, so um you know, I had to I had to pick up a phone call about financial aid and scholarships and I didn't want to hold it off, so just kind of important. Good old stuff. But how is everyone doing? Ooh there's downtime tomorrow for Lotro. So what's happening now at the, there's a level Valor, level 140 Valor. It's limited time. Still heckin' expensive though. Hey, Sylvia, how are you doing, Sylvia? I hope you're doing well. Um, But yeah, there's like something for Valor. Um, Level 140 Valor. Heckin' expensive. Everyone's been raving about it on the YouTube channel. And even I'm like, huh? What is this? I'm sorry, I'm booting up the game right now while I'm trying to go on Discord. I'm beautifully great as always. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear it, man. <sighs> my day, um... My day is taking a depressing turn, so I feel kind of bummed. Like, I, I feel bad I'm streaming because <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. I'm so negative today. I need to stream so my, my um, I pick up my spirits. I'm trying, guys. I think what really affected my day to day, which it's not the best thing you ever want to read when you wake up, but I saw a news story that um, someone I went to school with for several years, like we went to the same elementary and high school, um, is like wanted for a very big murder that's kind of happened around our town. Um, yeah, so I saw that and I was like, that's so messed up and I've been around people like that oh my yeah like it was I literally woke up literally woke up saw that on Facebook and I was just like oh my god so I was really upset about it because I was just like you know I've been around this person I've spoken to this person like, never would I ever, but, like, I'm not close to them, like, you know, past high school, whatever, we got, yeah, we all be doing our things, you know, but it's just so depressing, um, yeah, and so I was so depressed this morning, <laughs> and then I was able to turn it around and be like, just be thankful, you know, like, there's nothing that I, I'm just trying to reflect it in on my own life. Like, what happened is so dreadful and awful for everyone. But I'm sitting here and I'm like, thank God I'm not in a position like that. I'm not even related or know that person like I used to anymore. Like, it's terrible for everyone. Um, but yeah, but I'm just like, ugh. Ugh. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And it, it, it it's like really made me very upset, um, which I didn't expect. But it's just something you never really want to see. It's like, come on, people. Like, it's so tragic. Um, but anyway, now that I've depressed everyone else with me, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm over here like, oh yeah, I got a stream to, you know, get up my spirits and here I am de just depressing you all. Um, let me at least try to get my act together. Oh, let me talk about, let me talk about the water update. Here's a positive, okay? Okay, everyone, I'm gonna get positive now, okay? Instead of being all sad. Um, let's talk about my journey. My unexpected journey that I randomly decided to um, go on. I'm like Frodo. I'm literally Frodo in this. Um, I decided not to eat. Eat. I decided not to drink any Diet Coke for 
I think I started it Thursday night. I told myself Friday morning, Friday morning, I'm not drinking any Diet Coke, any pop, any coffee, none of that. Until tomorrow morning. So it's like five days. Five days without any pop. Um, and I've done it, guys. I've done it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm sorry. I really have to like get this posted out because I'm just gonna hold this off and it will be it will, it will just hold off stream even longer which we don't want we don't want that um but yeah so I I've been five days without any pop I got my trusty dandy water here um it was so hard at first guys it was awful like Sean was so annoyed with me he was like I was <laughs> the first two days I was just like I what pop like I just could <laughs> I wanted pop so bad I was like I would open the fridge and there'd be some cold ones and I'm like oh my god if only I want that soda so bad um but you know I withstanded the hardest part about when you take off caffeine or you decide not to drink uh, any caffeine is the headaches because I've done this before I've done it where I'm like oh yeah I'm not gonna drink any pop for a certain amount of days but when you get the headaches oh my god and then the first thing that you think is I should go take um you know like a, a headache relief pill or something like that like an aspirin but they have caffeine in them so it's almost like you can't win <laughs> literally <laughs> you have a caffeine headache and the way they resolve it is oh yeah uh we're gonna have some more caffeine for you so you get better <laughs> just know i'm always here for you i'm a message away or call oh thanks soviet i appreciate it that means a lot i really do this is something else that's kind of made me really bum but this is something totally just you know now that i look at it i'm like this is just not even anywhere close to the news I saw this morning but um so I have my I have my birthday um dinner I'm planning a birthday dinner today not today um for Saturday and I invited everyone don't mind me I'm still trying to pull up Lotro um I invited everyone I invited nine friends uh and the rest are family um so I was hoping to have like 20 people uh, I wasn't like totally counting on it. I figured a couple people, a couple people I invited just, just to invite, you know, you know, when you do that, you'll be like, oh yeah, let me invite you just to invite you. But like, I know you're not going to come. That's essentially what I did for some people. So, um, but yeah, the one person I decided to invite was, she lives in Kentucky. I was like, Hey, like you might, you my bestie. Uh, if you can't come, you know, like, I'm just inviting you to invite you. Literally, though, okay, I knew she wasn't gonna come. And I figured, like, maybe two, three people, just because I invited people, like, two weeks before. And some people just, you know, they have work schedules where, like, they work retail or, you know, anything like that. And then they have to, like, know their schedule ahead of time. And they'll get their schedule, like, two weeks before. Um, so that happened for, like, one other person, but everyone else literally just gave me some really sad excuses we'll say i'm very disappointed with these people that like i've called friends because i feel like i don't see them a lot and i try to make plans with people but you know life happens i get it and then when it's like my own birthday, I'm like, brother, like, can you show up, please? <laughs> so I invited nine friends. Nine friends. Guess how many of these friends will be actually attending the dinner? Take a guess, Sylvia. Take a guess. <laughs> Take a guess. Take a big old guess. Two. Oh my gosh! Arocalypse! You're literally on the dot. Two people. And may I add, the one person, let, let me add. So the one person um, 
like he's like he's my ride or die kind of like friend like we do a podcast like you know the little like we're just really goofy um but he lives like 45 minutes away and he has no car or anything so i have to go pick him up but then the other person who's coming i haven't even spoken to in months (laughs) not in, in like months like literally we worked the same job for a while we became friends Um, or I guess we like talked more and became closer once I left that job, but she's coming (laughs) and I invited her. Like I'm going to invite her assuming she won't want to come because you know, I did all these other people said, I can't, the restaurant's too expensive. I'm like, well, you know, you don't have to order anything. I'm going to do a thing after the restaurant where we all come back to my house i already have cake it's like no i'm busy okay i could take a hit like really (laughs) so i'm really just disappointed (laughs) that's all it is (laughs) i hate being stood up half the yeah i i don't like it I, i i i get really I take that stuff so personal because a lot of my life, like I've, I'm someone who really loves having a bestie. Like I want my one best friend. And once I have that one best friend, I'm super terrible with my other friends. Cause I'm like, block them out. I got my one bestie, like, you know, <laughs> which is not good. Don't do that. So over the years, I've just kind of been more, um, like what's the word? I've been better about you know, not being like that. <laughs> so I try to invite everyone, but um, it doesn't seem like they want to make the effort. In 51 years of life, I've learned one thing. Most people aren't worth depending on. Yeah, I'm getting that. Legit, like I, I hate to say it. Oh my God, that guy just just jump so high anyway um yeah i really hate to say it but like (laughs) it was so just depressing my mother i was writing to my mother about this because we live like right next to each other and she was like well why don't you invite some of my friends like you're cool with them and i was like do you know how saddening it is that like i am closer to my mother's friends than my friend (laughs) like i could depend more on my mother's friends to show up for me over my own and like nothing against them i love them they're great people and like they're not even like around my mom's age like they're around my age and i don't know my mom just likes hanging out with 20 year olds i guess i don't know but it's just like it's just so like I don't know. I feel like there's something wrong with me, and that's where I take it personal, where I'm like, why don't people want to hang out? But I'm honestly, at this point, I'm starting to just get so fed up that I'm like, it's literally just everyone else at this point. I don't know what else more I could do. Do I need to offer people rides to get to my... <laughs> it's my freaking birthday. I'm going to be carpooling everyone. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's why a little upsetting, but it's okay because we don't need those haters, you know? So long story short, out of everything, I'm glad to have you all on stream here, you know? I know we might not meet in person, but I love chatting to you guys. It's really nice to kind of have like at least to at least meet people online who can kind of be supportive um more so than actual people i see like semi-regularly so (laughs) i appreciate you all that's all i'm gonna say i appreciate it but anyway now that i've depressed everyone I've made people go back in their old memories and be like, man, I remember those dark times too. Let's play some Lotro and slaughter some half-orcs. 
I need I need sentries. Why can't I find any sentries? This literally says there should be like so many over here, but I can't find any. <laughs> oh. But anyway, how's everyone else's days going? How's the week been? It's been a long week. Ugh. I'm gonna have to fight some of these people, aren't I? Ooh, there's a bridge over here. Uh, you have it. You need to vent. Let it out. Uh, you have a lot on your chest. Yeah. The thing is, though, it's like it's so easy to focus on the negatives, but I don't want to be that person. Long week. It is Tuesday. <laughs> it has been a long week. <laughs> I know. Now, tomorrow's super busy at my job. It's been kind of busier this week at my job, and it's just going to get worse from what I understand, so. It's a long week. Personally, uh, work-wise, yeah. But yeah, no. I, I'm trying not to be negative about things because... It's so easy to focus on things that don't go right or are negative or blah, blah, blah. But, um, you know, some people don't even get the opportunity to live until they're 22. Like I can hopefully say when I wake up tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, you know, I just got to keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm gonna be 22 tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'll be one year wiser. <laughs> <laughs> and I can officially have a pop tomorrow. Let's go. I'll be very excited to have some pop. Well, happy early birthday. Thank you, Rockalypse. I appreciate it. 22 hype. Yeah, let's go. Tomorrow you'll be one day older than today. Exactly. I'm gonna be one day older. It's gonna be, if it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna go around town and be like, y'all, I'm one day older now. Like, what are you gonna do about it, huh? No, don't attack me, goblin. Get away. Please. Yeah, but anyways, I apologize for being late uh, to stream. I feel bad. I hate doing that. Um, but I had a really important call. And they just kept talking my ear off. You know, it, it was financial aid for school, so they're like, we want to make sure you understand every little detail. And I'm like, yes, I've, I've been to school. I know what a subsidized loan is. Thank you. I, I I have loaned it. I'm I'm well aware. They're like, well, we just want to make sure. I'm like, hey, thank you. But I have the stream. <laughs> okay, well, real quick. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Next time, I won't keep you on the phone so long. Sorry, I'll stop it. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about uh, we were talking about how excited we were for stream today, and I had so many plans for stream. Wait. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! I just realized I had a plan for stream today, and I'm not following the plan. Oh my god! So last last stream last week. My father came on and we were joking about, oh yeah, like we gotta get some burglars and like run out to like Rohan or something insane and try not to die. And then I called him and, um, you know, he was like, oh yeah, we're gonna do that next week, right? And I was like, well, I mean, if you're serious, sure. And then he mentioned it like two days ago too. And I was like, dang, he must really be like excited for us to try this. But... He's not answering my call, and I forgot to call him before stream. Whoops. Maybe he'll come on and we'll do it later. Maybe he's napping, because normally when I call him, he'll call me back, but he must be napping. Dang. Oh my god, I'm actually getting annoyed. I can't find these sentries. 
cross the bridge into Rohirrim. I plan on making a YouTube video series on going to Mordor as a level 7. Oh, well, dude, you should totally do that. That's a really good idea. I'm for it. Dang. I actually like your idea. I would totally steal it if you didn't if you didn't put it out there already. I won't do it. Maru, how's it going? How's it been? Uh I should scout the first patrol point, shouldn't I? Short short uh weather today, so I got to inflict my pale legs on the city populace, so that was great. Dude, it's so nice out right now. I'm so jealous. I wish I could inflict the shorts, the the leg, the pale leg, short wearing uh, vibes on other people as well. <laughs> Love to do that. Uh, I'm pretty good. I have an online class in like five minutes, but it's not even worth paying attention. Dude, I feel that. Going to online classes is like the worst, but I almost feel like it's the only option for some people anymore. Online classes suck though. I never paid attention to them ever. I would just do the homework. I would like fail the tests. I would do the assignments though, get like 100%. Ooh, Fang. Oh my God, these stinking trees. Uh, yeah, I would pass the test and then I would just, I, I wouldn't pass the test. I failed the test, do the assignments, and then I'd probably get like a C average with everything because there'd just be so many stinking assignments. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna walk from Thorns Gate to Mordor. Just gotta get around to do it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do that same thing too. That same idea. I had that for, uh, a while planned but like I have to I think I told I just told Sean this the other day but I was just like yeah I'm gonna do this like video idea where I'm just gonna walk in Middle Earth from like one place to the other and it's probably gonna take like a whole day to record he was like no way and I was like my guess is like 14 hours maybe who knows he's like no way <laughs> I was like Okay, I don't really know, but that's my guess. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. As a redhead with blue eyes, the pale is powerful in me. The pale is powerful. <laughs> the pale, I love that you addressed it like the. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, I'm like pale. This is my thing. I literally, if y'all don't know this about me, I come from like the palest mother. Uh, and my dad is actually, um, mixed. He's like, um, he's technically half black. Um, so, like, you would think I would have, like, a darker tone or something, but apparently the only thing I got from my dad's jeans was just the really wild curly hair that he has, um, which is unfortunate because my mom has really like thin hair and I, not like I want thin hair but it's typically a lot easier to maintain than the thick curly stuff my dad has but I couldn't get blessed with those jeans but you know but I think I just think it's so funny because I'm so freaking pale I'm pale like my mother if not paler but then I'm like, oh yeah, like, I'm part black. People, like, laugh at me. Like, Aubrey, chill. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm being serious. Like, I am. And then I have to prove it by showing them my curly hair. And they're like, oh, okay, I see it now. It's always how it goes. But I love being pale. I wouldn't change it for the world. Aubrey the pale one. Exactly, I am the pale one. You're just as albino as the next black person from Ireland, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm just like that. <laughs> yeah, it's insane, man. I, 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 I've got some weird genes. It's really weird, too, because for um, social studies in school or whatever, 
I had to do my family tree and it was actually really quite depressing to some extent because come to find out my mother's side like heavily German you know all that um, I'm trying to think where I was going with that but they're like heavily German um, you know very white people I, I don't know how, how else to put it um, so you know back in the day they were proud slave owners okay and then I look at my dad's family tree uh-huh and I have a lot of reason to believe that they were slaves because um, you can't find like certain records on them for a long while and then all of a sudden this just random person pops up um, with our last name so I'm almost like I wonder if it's a fake name <gasps> thank you <laughs> I love how you stole your sunglasses guys have a milkshake now yay <laughs> look at my boyfriend coming through I appreciate him it's one thick milkshake dude McDonald's milkshakes are so good but yeah, so it's like really depressing because my dad's side slaves. And then my mom's side's like proud slave owners. And I'm just like, oof. It's awkward. Aubrey's milkshake brings all the hobbits to the yard and they're like, what about second milkshake? Oh my god, yes. Yeah, what about second milkshake? <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. How have you been, by the way, Jordan? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. I know you popped in last week. Um, and I know that you said that your like schedule changed, so you'll be attending more of the Tuesday streams. I should stream another day. Actually, um, that's something I really kind of want to talk about, actually. I thought there'd be something in there, but it doesn't seem to be. Um, I just wanted to kind of discover it. But um, I, actually, so Fallen Order will be coming out at the end of the month. Um, so I will be playing it, but I don't want to stop the Lotro stream, so I'll probably end up doing, um, like, double stream days, but I think what I'm actually gonna end up doing is, like, just cramming, like, um, Jedi Survivor, sorry, not Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor together. Oh, I lost frames. Drinking that milkshake in front of us, like, we don't even want one. <laughs> also, boyfriend just earned 100 plus rip, Aubrey rip. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh yeah, let's get it. I know, he opened my door and I was like, he knows I'm streaming. Like, what's he doing? It's like, something must be wrong. That's the first thing that went through my head. Something must be wrong. And here, everything was just, you know, going back to normal. You know, I, I was getting my my positive vibes with the milkshake my cat died today no 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 oh, that's gonna make me so sad oh gosh i'm so sorry man that's awful aubrey's boyfriend has gained conjured rep with aubrey's faction <laughs> something like that yeah yeah yeah, before, before he was labeled uh, under, um, oh god, <laughs> I almost said friend, but that sounds really bad. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was under the friend faction, now he's a kindred <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. Come on, I need goblins. Can I get some goblins, please? I don't know why. I feel like everything's so scarce around here. All right, fourth patrol point. Ugh, that makes me so sad. I'm so sorry, Joran. I couldn't. I couldn't imagine. I almost feel like one of the worst pains is pets dying. It. I. I haven't really. I experienced my dog passing, and I honestly feel like that's probably the hardest death I've ever dealt with in life. Cause um. I haven't had anyone like super close in my family pass away luckily I don't know if it's lucky but um you know like I've had relatives pass but they're all people I never spoke to or don't have much with them like to say I guess there's a lot of bad blood with my families but um 
man, when my when my when my dog passed, I was like, oh, 14 years, died of old age, so that was lucky. Yeah, that is good. That is good. I'm glad. When my dog went, she was like uncontrollably seizing, and like we were just like, we got it, we got it, you know, do the things, you know. But, yeah, going out like that, that's a good way to go, man. I think that's how everyone hopes to go, right? Yeah, but R.I.P. Kitty. R.I.P. We're gonna, uh, I'm trying to think. We, we put up the weird cat emotes as a R.I.P. I know it's not really the same, but I mean, it's the best we can do to kind of commemorate this passed on kitty. the kitty emotes spam them that's so adorable all right i need goblins give me some goblins all right i'm gonna make sure to bump up the vibes here guys we're gonna stay positive we're gonna be doing good things the weather was nice out today for some of us we're we're here we're living we're slaughtering goblins uh and you know trying to um not take the hobbit's eyes and car <laughs> not today naru uh i love your kitty naru i love the black cat but so my i don't know if you guys saw i'll pull it up for you but uh, on Instagram, on Easter, by the way, I hope everyone had a good Easter. I totally didn't even mention that. But Aubrey, when boyfriend opened the door, <laughs> Aubrey was just on the milkshake. <laughs> oh my god, that's a perfect representation. Oh my god, I gotta take a, I gotta take a screenshot of that. Hopefully that didn't mess up stream. Okay. I just took a screenshot of that. I definitely got to send that over to Sean. <laughs> I should, uh, I should take a photo. I got to show you, I got to show you my Easter, um, my Easter pal real quick. So, uh, my grandmother, she actually, like, got this new cat. She adopted him. And he's so pretty. He's this little black kitty. He's just so pretty. He's got these really bright green eyes oh i'm being attacked but he's so cute i love black cats there's they're just so precious they get such a bad rap but like dude he is one of the most affectionate cats i've ever seen his name to me is uncle danny he's my uncle um i just call him danny boy um but yeah um I don't know why black cats have such a bad rep. They're so cute. But he is such a lover. Yeah, he's so cute. He's such a lover. He's awesome. I've never met a cat who's so, like, affectionate to a stranger. Like, he, would, he kept jumping on my lap. He kept, like, making my hand, like, his pillow. Like, <laughs> my hand was hurting because I was like, dude... <sighs> I can't be laying like this forever, you know? But he's so, he's so sweet. Yeah, meanwhile, Muriel is um, feisty as always. Still won't cuddle. I honestly, with Muriel, I call cuddling when she lays on the opposite side of me on a couch or the bed. Uh, that's cuddling for us. <laughs> that's our cuddles. I love it. All right, I'm gonna send this um, picture to Sean real quick. I'm so sorry. I, I swear, I'm gonna be doing f more fun things than uh, Isengard stuff, because I don't know what the heck is happening with this. Alright, I sent that to Sean, so now he knows <laughs> the reaction. <laughs> it's a great reaction. 
Okay, uh, so what are we doing in Lotro? This is a great question. Um, I just did a lot of random quests in Isengard because uh, I think the story is now going to take us somewhere else. Seemed like we were hinting that we'd go to the Great River. Uh, but we have to go see Galadriel, essentially. That's the goal. What I would like to do is at least try to complete some of these other, like, quests around Isengard, because I just don't want to go too far ahead and then be like, oh crap. I need to go back now. Dude, this milkshake is so thick, I can't even friggin... Drink it! <laughs> Who has the best milkshakes in your opinion? For like fast food places. Like McDonald's has a good milkshake. Wendy's Frosties, I guess you can kind of classify as a milkshake. Those are good. They're taking the milkshakes to eyes and guard, 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 guard. <laughs> Wendy's hands down. Yeah, th those are pretty good. I'll give it to you. Um, I really, I'm obsessed with Chick-fil-A milkshakes, but they are a pretty penny, so I don't really get those milkshakes often, but when I want a milkshake and I can't get a Chick-fil-A milkshake, I get a McDonald's milkshake. <laughs> Burger King has milkshakes, but I honestly really don't like Burger King milkshakes. Wendy's is really good too. I, I just got a Frosty the other day and like they had like a little, they actually had like a little tiny cup. It was so cute. I had a little Junior Frosty. Alright, um, why don't I hear anyone talking? Does this guy just not have any voice lines? You would think if you're part of the Grey Company, you would. Seems that one of the lackeys of making the pass out of Isengard presumably to bring a message all right, lie and wait by the pillar of the hand and defeat Saruman's messenger, okay? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> random. Are you the messenger? Uh, so what do I do? Do I just, do I just sit here forever? Uh... You should first eliminate the center. Oh, okay. I have to eliminate all these people. I think it's so funny. They'll actually, like, push me upward. I've never seen this yet. Oh my god, guys. The anniversary event is coming up. All right. Where's the messenger? I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm assuming he'll come from this direction. Uh, hello? Oh, here he comes. Here he is. Damn, this guy's a high level. All right, don't matter. Nice. Dude, that was sick. Oh my god, they already respawned. Get away from me. Sentries, get away. Sean responded and said LOL to the <laughs> comment. Ah. All right. Have you dealt with some... Did I accidentally turn down the voice volume when I was recording? I guess this guy has a no dialogue. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're going to do an instance. I do not know what's come of it. A strange figure moving south towards the pass. Okay. Oh, I got to defend him. Okay. He disappeared a few hours ago. I tried to pick up the trail, but it was well disguised. Did you hear something? Oh my god. Well, this was intense. Oh my god. Buddy, stop it with your pitch for- Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh wait, I got 20,000. I was just like, how the heck did that guy just slaughter that guy for 20? I prefer cookouts milkshakes. I've not heard of cookout. I'm assuming it's like a fast food place. And I've not been. Unfortunately. Uh, 
I might take this earring just because I don't need might, but I would like to upgrade my vitality a little bit in comparison to this other one. Give me one sec. Oh my god, people. What in the heck is this inventory? Ooh, I got a tracery. Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. Boop. So, I have some news. Or I, I shouldn't say some news, but... I, I've got... I've got a... Uh, I've got a little... Tease, we'll say. I guess. I don't know. Um, I reinstalled and have been playing some Star Wars The Old Republic. So I would just say expect a video on that in the future. That is all. I know it's not that exciting. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I was just like, oh, hey. <laughs> oh goodness. See, it sounded like it was more like mysterious in my head, but when I said it out loud, I was like, yeah, this isn't anything. Muriel, no. No, get out of here. Oh my God. My cat wants to destroy my computer cord, so she's not allowed in, but she breaks in quite often. I gotta keep an eye out, and I'm gonna have to kick her out. So expect the next video in the next couple seconds, Scott. <laughs> yes. No, it'll be, um... Hey, hey you! Hey you! Hey you, you gotta go. Hey you, come here. No, don't go up there. Oh my gosh. This cat's driving me bonkers. Muriel, <laughs> yes. Yes. Come on, Muriel, you can't be doing this to me. What? Come here. Come here, they wanna see you. No, don't leave. Now you wanna leave? What? what? <laughs> No, don't go behind the computer! <laughs> go! <laughs> Come on, go, go. Go. It's the worst place we want her to go. Come on, go. Go <laughs> here. Oh my god, chill. Muriel hates being picked up. Oh crap. All right, real quick, just for you guys. This is the meow meow. This is the meow meow. It's the meow meow. See, they just wanted to see you. Say hi, Muriel. Wave the paw, wave the paw. Oh, shit, I'm dying in the game. <laughs> I'm gonna just heal up real quick. Uh. <laughs> oh, how cute. She's saying hi, yeah, exactly, exactly. She's saying hi, she's saying hi. All right, let me just slaughter this person real quick. Muriel will allow it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying to slaughter this mouse. Okay. Yes, this is Meow Meow. That's why I call her Meow Meow, because she meows all the time. No, don't run for it. All right, she's leaving. Okay, anyway, Muriel felt like making a special guest appearance. But, um, yeah, no, she can't, she can't really be in here because she runs behind my computer and then she'll start chewing the cords and unplug everything and we don't want that, so. Change title to Castry, <laughs> more or less, yeah. I mean, are we wrong though, like? All right, give me one second. I'm gonna turn this music down. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's Muriel. Yeah, I call Muriel Meow Meow because she meows all the time. She's the most vocal cat I've ever met. She says meow. Like, you could, she'll, like, beg for food, but, like, she doesn't, she'll beg for people food, but she doesn't eat people food. It's, like, the funniest thing, but she will just go on and on and on, like, meow, meow, meow. 
Like, it sounds, it, it sounds terrible if you're like a neighbor. You're like, huh? Like, is your cat okay? Is she crying? And I'm like, no, she's just talking to me. And then I talk back to her and people think I'm weird. I'm like, it's a cat mom thing. You just don't get it. I am at your service. All right, now we're gonna get in the cave. Let's go. All right, so we gotta find some missing horses and kill off some freaking wargs. I'm ready. Let's do this. Dude, this milkshake hitting. I don't know if it was my hand that like messed up or if it was just the game. Hmm, is that a horse? I thought there would be a horse over here, but I don't see one. I see a lot of wargs. Oh, goblin. Make sure not to get lost this time in the game. I'll try not to. Uh, no promises. Who knows? We will see. Oh, dang. Uh, anyone's... Uh, black... What the heck? Uh, anyone seen any horses? Uh, any horses, anyone? Uh... Okay, uh, they don't seem to be able to find any. Am I sure that they're in here? Yeah, it says they're in here. Hmm. I'm shocked that the horses would go in a cave. I feel like that's just not my first guess as to where horses would be taken. Do, uh, okay, okay, okay. We're doing, we're doing the thing. Uh, okay. Oh my god, this cave is humongous. Oh my god. See, when they start adding floors, that's when I get lost. The cook. Oh god. See, like Walter White or something. Sinister recipe. Dude, what if he cooked the horses? <laughs> hey, tweet my hashtag. How you doing? Uh, I need to make a hobbit on Krakalo and name it Aubrey Squire and follow you around singing songs and playing music. Hey, I'm for it. I love it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I forgot. You guys can't see my cursor. Can you tell I've been recording videos as my cursor is turned off and, um, you know, I've just forgotten everything else in life. Okay, do you guys see it now? No? No, shit. <laughs> I hate when it messes up like this. You'll probably see my cursor every now and again, but I can't fix it. Um, oh, see, there we go. And when he dies, there will be, there will be much rejoicing. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, I thought I'd be able to pick it up, but I guess not. All right, are the horses down here? How are you doing today? Tweet my hashtag. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm just gonna run till I find horse. Oh, these are cows. Very big difference. Oh, maybe the horse is over here. Do you know how you found the missing horses? What's left? I was just about to say, do you know how effed up it would be if, like, I don't find the horses, but I find some cows? That's just so depressing. I found living and live cows. But apparently they just said I want horse first to eat instead. Defeat the butcher. <laughs> He's out of oh my god. 
the lag. My cat has been summoned to try to come and cuddle me now. Damn. I wish I had that issue, you know? Oh, the butcher. Here we go. Perfect timing. Hey, butcher. How's it going, man? Owie. You don't gotta be so rude with those cleavers. Nice. Uh... I still need to defeat so many wargs. I was so, like... I was so bent on trying to get those wargs taken care of. Or the horses found that I just totally didn't even pick up on murdering wargs. I'm so bummed I can't use the sinister- the- the recipe. Alright, um... Well, there's technically a second floor. Should we go down the second floor? I think we should. Oh my god. There's so much drama happening in reality TV world right now. My family is, like, texting me because, like, something big dropped and, like, they're texting me like, Oh my god, these are my new theories. I don't know if any of y'all have been paying, um paying attention to like reality tv news or anything but the show i watch called vanderpump rules there's like this huge affair that came out and I, everyone's losing their shit I, I i am one of those people included okay but like i'm just so over it now because i'm just like dude i don't know what could get worse at this point <laughs> Like, don't have affairs? It's pretty, pretty bad. Oh. oh my god, the guy's name is peeking through. That's insane. But anyway. Reality TV Tom, how could you? <laughs> yeah, for Tom. Yeah, Tom messed up bad. You mean what happened on my way to the grocery store? <laughs> What happened on your way to the grocery store, Joran? You got some, you got some tea you want to spill, you know? Did you hear anything about that grocer Marsha? You know, I, I was hearing. So I can't. The only reality TV show I pay attention is The Curse of Oak Island. <laughs> That's fair, honestly. I don't recommend reality TV if you can avoid it. Um, I'm a reality TV addict. So, you know what's actually really interesting about reality TV and me is the fact that I actually like working while I'm watching reality TV because it actually makes me feel more motivated in two ways. Like, I watch the Kardashians to be motivated in a way that it's like, okay, like, they're hardworking and, okay, I want to be working, like, all the time like them, you know? So I'll be doing my work while I'm watching them. But then it's also, like, watching the Kardashians. It's like, all right, I'm motivated to never be like these people. So at least I can at least say I'm not as shallow as some of these people and keep doing my work. <laughs> so, like, it helps me work better. <laughs> it just gives me a little more perspective, I guess. Where I'm like, you know, I could be worse. I, I, I could be in worse situations. Oh. Yo, you stealing all my wargs. My, my wargs. I don't know if that's just a me thing or what. No TV, only games. Seeing other sufferers help me be a better person. <laughs> I mean, when you put it like that, it's not about them suffering. It's just like every time I, f every time I watch the Bora Bora episode with Kim, and she gets thrown off into the water, and she starts crying because she lost her earring. <laughs> it just makes me laugh because I'm like, imagine, and then she's like, but it was seventy five thousand dollars. And I'm just sitting here, and I'm just like, okay, like, if I had that money, you would think you would be responsible enough not to, like, wear that kind of shit and just get thrown in the water. <laughs> like, I <laughs> anyway.
Just giving you grief. I know, man. I know. I mean, uh, when you put it like that, I mean, no. I I think I just like watching like people kind of like just kind of go off the deep end and like get really upset and like we'll say passionate they get very passionate about certain things and i'm like at the end of the day i would not even give this a time of day because it's just not going to help you at all like this this doesn't really give you any benefit by going off <laughs> so it makes me feel better about myself because i'm like at least my mom taught me well you know and i've kept i've kept this up you know <sighs> sticking people stole my wargs so sad I could have bought a house with those earrings and a she shed, right? I know, bro. When she says seventy-five thousand dollars, I was like, I could have, I could go to school with that money. <laughs> I could get an education. I could have got a, a down payment on a house, a really decent down payment. But I mean, I think that's one thing though that um. I don't know if this is like a bad trait to have, but I, I feel like over time I've kind of grown up and I don't want to like victimize myself, if that makes sense. And I don't want other people to do this either, where it's like, oh yeah, like she's complaining about this, like she lost her earring, but like, you know, that could pay other people's like college tuition and stuff. And it's like 100% true, but it's like she has to work for that too. And it's just her you know stupid mistake just going around acting like oh yeah i'll be thrown in the water and i just lost a really expensive earring like that's on her but it's still her money she worked hard for it i'll give her some credit <laughs> and she's just very privileged in other ways that's all that some people aren't i'm not one of those people you could have had two doctoral <laughs> school sessions paid in full without working, right? That would be so nice. And we'll get there. You know, if we were hard enough, chat, we could get there. I'm telling you guys. I feel like, I think that's the thing with life is that when I started watching finance videos and I realized how easy it was to just if you make the right choices, now that's the hardest part because who knows, but if you make smart decisions and your frugal with certain things you could honestly make a decent amount of money you just have to be really specific on your spending and like budgeting and all of that but man i'm telling you guys it's possible it's so possible i have faith i have a lot of faith that's all And no, I'm not religious. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even a religious person. It's like, I have all my faith in, you know, things. Do you mean morally right or economically right? Morally right would be paying full price for games. Economically right would be waiting for sales. <laughs> That's true. I would say economically, economically. Wait for sales. I don't need this milkshake. I, I think that's what it comes down to as I'm over here. Like, I'm all like, yeah, I'm saving myself money now that I, I'm not drinking Diet Coke. And like, I really felt like Diet Coke was almost like this thing I needed. But then when I stopped drinking it, I was like, oh my God, I don't need Diet Coke. I just thought I needed it. <laughs> yeah, if you skip that milkshake, you could have bought a yacht. I don't know about that. <laughs> but this could, this could, this milkshake alone could have probably gotten me a hundred dollars if I just reinvested it and sat on it forever. Maybe not a hundred, but at least 80 bucks. I don't even know what I'm looking for. And you wonder why vampires are rich? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the heck?
Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I definitely am. Um, I think with, like, I'm not trying to sound insensitive, but it's just like when people were telling me that my birthday dinner was too expensive for them and they couldn't afford it, it just made me really sad because I was like, you know, if you can't afford like an $8 meal, I'm not even asking you to eat, okay? You don't even have to show up in the restaurant and eat. And I know that's like totally embarrassing to some people, so they just don't want to do it, which I'm totally like, I get it. Um, but like, if you can't, if you don't even have $8 to your name right now, that would be so concerning. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing with your money? I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Some people get really bad debts, and I just don't, I, I don't get it. I don't get the need for it. That's all. But man, that can screw you over so bad. <laughs> I don't know. So I watch a lot of finance stuff on YouTube. I've been watching Financial Audit with this YouTuber called Caleb Hammer. And oh my God, it is so eye-opening. If you ever want to feel better about yourself, watch that. Because <laughs> I'll just watch uh, these people who are like my age. Like, oh yeah, I'm 100000 in debt. Okay, well... What'd you get in the debt for? Did you, you know, did you get a business or like, is it, is it something you could potentially make money in in the future? Oh no, I bought like 20,000 in Starbucks and Uber Eats and DoorDash and Uber rides and uh, clubs. And then I decided I wanted to go to school. So I took out like 30K in student loans, but I, I, I left and I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, and then they're like, ah, and then I spent like another, um, you know, like 60,000 on like these three cars I really wanted, I couldn't live without, uh, but they're breaking down now. So like, they don't even work. Um, and I'm just sitting here like, oh my God, like. I can't. I'll be the last one, I am the last one. Yeah, my mom learning about eBay for some of the wishlisted games was a mistake. I'm glad I got them, but what she paid? I yelled bloody murder. Oh my god. Yeah, man. I mean, hey, she paid for it. This is wild. Someone's on their alts. Um, yeah, I can't freaking find this stupid... Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to go to the game. <laughs> this is why you read the quest, people. Don't learn from my mistake, <laughs> or learn from my mistake. <laughs> don't, don't listen to me, just don't look at me. Don't look at me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh wait, it's gonna take me back to the other side of the cave. Okay, well, it's whatever, it's fine. Oh, here it is. Okay, never mind. I know what I'm doing now for once. Hello? Oh, okay. Well, let's bring it on, man. I must remain within it. That's fine. I can do this. Need a channel point redeemed to ban mounts for X amount of time? Oh my god, why is that a good idea? Why is that one I don't want to even look at? Do I want to do that? That's actually a really good idea. That's a really good idea. I might have to run with that. That idea. I do need better channel points, for sure, for sure. It's it's pretty brutal. I feel like there's two things I really need to majorly revamp. One is the channel points, uh, and I really want to include sound bites and stuff, which I actually did start doing, but I literally set it up and all I have to do is just link it to Twitch, and that's been the hardest task. <laughs> Um, and then Discord really needs a revamp. 
but who knows could be worse i had a channel point redeem that let someone redeem points to make me delete a tune why oh my gosh okay but did they get to pick the tune if someone deleted my level 74 i would be so ticked yeah that's a no yeah i ain't doing that either <laughs> Yeah, okay, I, uh, I'll do the mount. I'll do the mount. <laughs> I'll look into the mount. Yeah, I gotta figure out some more channel point ideas. The no W's is good, but it's like, it's almost like a cheat sheet in Lotro. Cause like in Battlefront, that one's really good because then you can't, you can't accelerate and you can only, <laughs> like you're like the slowest moving target. It's so funny. There were only two tunes that were exempt from it, but the rest of the 11 others were free in the game. Oh my gosh. No way, man. Just no way. Oh my god. I keep coming over here waiting for the guy, but it's literally... He resides in the caves. The western front? Okay. So he's probably here. I'm leaving anyway just to get these mobs off me. How's your health thing going? My health thing- oh, oh, the pop! Oh yeah, I gave it- I gave it a little, uh, update. It was also 500k points, I think. Oh my god, someone had that many? I forgot what it was. Soul- Soul is me, she has most of my points. I- I forgot what it was. I think it said at the end of the year for your Twitch recap, it said that there was over, a, like, a million channel points that had been giving out, and I was like, a million channel points? Like, I'm averaging, like, seven viewers like, mm. and then i reached out to soul i was like do you have half of these and she was like yeah <laughs> and i was like true lur lurker right there <laughs> no no one had that many points but it was a redeem option if someone had that many wait what no one had that many points, but it was a redeem option if someone had that many. So they saw the rise and the fall of that tune then. Yep, more or less. Channel points redeem. Maybe you have to deliver milkshake. <laughs> hey, someone made it work. Correction, it's a million? Oh my god. That's a lot. So yeah, anyway, Joran, about, um, uh, water. I've been drinking nonstop water. So for those of y'all who don't know, I love Diet Coke, as you can tell. Um, profile picture shows Pepsi, but same thing. I saw every other day for pop, right? Yeah, so I'm going, uh, so essentially I decided to, um, I'm so lost. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, essentially, every day... I don't even know what ha... Let me put this into perspective, okay? I'll give you a little bit of backstory. So, I was sitting at work on Thursday, and I have a dentist appointment coming up. I've rescheduled this dentist appointment for a year and a half, which is really bad. It's a new dentist, and they literally will schedule you out, a, like, a good like four months out so i wait four months knowing i'm not going to go to the appointment then they end up you know doing the auto text like you know you know and then i always have to call them and be like oh yeah i'll come in your earliest availability what is it blah blah, blah. so i haven't been to the dentist in a while um which I don't know how else to say this, but um, I'm 22, about to be 22 years old, and I literally have, like, the worst, like, teeth gum issues ever. So, um, I just, I'm really messed up in the mouth. <laughs> that's, how, that's what we're gonna say. Um, clip that. Anyway, um, so I'll give you, I'll, it's like a blessing and a curse, because I have no cavities, and I have messed up my teeth to an extent um oh i know all about that issue <laughs> yeah 
Um, but yeah, uh, I have no cavities, but I am missing a tooth. I've been missing a tooth since birth. So like, as most people have, like, I don't know if it's 31, 32 teeth. I have one less than most people. So when I, whenever I get wisdom teeth, which I have coming in, um, it's just going to be a pain is what my dentist said. He said, it's going to be hell. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, I will say that my last time I went to the dentist, and I've noticed this, this is something my mom has too, but I've developed it a lot earlier and it's just, it's just me. I have no one to blame but myself. Um, but I essentially like have gingivitis. Um, but like, it's, it's not gingivitis. It's worse than gingivitis. <laughs> so my gums are literally like eroding. Um, and it's in this one, it's like in the very front, which my dentist saw last time and he just said, you need to brush better and let me on my way, <laughs> which is probably the worst thing he could have said. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I've been brushing better. I, I feel like I have. Um, and my gum is like, like pretty much like eaten away. Like it, it's, it's bad. And I won't show you, it looks dreadful. Like I legit can see like almost the root of my tooth. It's that bad. Periodontal disease? That sounds insane. But yeah, so I probably, I probably got something or another. Um, but my biggest fear is because like my dentist told me when I, you know, he was like, yeah, you're, you're, you really gotta work on your gums, whatever. Um, he was like, yeah, you gotta, um, you gotta work, like watch out for that because that can give you like gum disease, which could lead to like heart disease, like kidney failure, all like all, all this like crazy stuff. And I was like, oh, whatever. Um, but I pop definitely doesn't help it. I like eating a lot of lemons. So a lot of acidicness that's going to eat away at everything. Um, that's what it's called because that's what I'm going through but mine is from 31 years of smoking wow dang man yeah mine's just from a heavy pop intake I'm pretty sure it's it's a mixture of not brushing properly and not flossing and heavy pop intake I think that's what it is I truly do I think it's just those three um, and I gotta get better. So I've been brushing my teeth cause like what's happened is my gums will hurt sometimes. They'll hurt for like a week and then, um, cause they're essentially like eroding away and then they'll be fine because they're so numb cause they've been so eroded, you know? Um, so yeah, so like I was brushing like three times a day cause normally that helps. Like I was brushing like, you know, the normal amount cause before I was not doing that. Um, but anyway. <laughs> um yeah so i was brushing like the regular as you should and uh it wasn't helping so i was like well this is clearly an issue and i should go see my dentist that i've been putting off forever um but i still wasn't gonna go see my dentist because i'm too i'm too scared um because I'm, I'm afraid they'll be like it's something bad but what really nicked like got my um what is it got a fire up my ass was i listened to this podcast it was recommended to me it auto played and i just listened to it at work and it was about this guy who was explaining that um your brain is like you know an organ that needs to be looked at and like you have to treat it healthy like you know mental health and all this and like you know, I'm someone with mental health, but like, I don't really go into it because I don't, I don't want to read into it. I, it, I don't know. It's something to me that I just don't understand and I'm almost scared to understand it fully. Um, but yeah. And so he was talking about it and he was like, yeah, so like, um, the worst thing you could do to your brain is not take good care of your, your teeth. And I was like, huh? And he was like, yeah, so if the worst thing you could do is get gingivitis, which then will lead to gum disease, which then could, you know, have kidney disease, heart disease, and could it definitely increase your chance of getting Alzheimer's by like 61%. And I was like, I think this is my sign. <laughs> so then I, 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 as soon as I watched the podcast, I was like, 
All right. Uh, I requested a time to go to the dentist. I got it off of work, like an extended lunch. So I was like, all right, that's my second sign that I got to go. My boss has approved of it. Um, and then I was like, if I'm going to take better care of my teeth, I think I should stop drinking pop. And so that night, I was like, I'm not going to drink pop for at least five days. And here we are. It's been five days with no pop. They'll do a deep cleaning and then wait six weeks or so to see how it is. Oof. See, that's the thing. I really don't want a deep cleaning, bro. Like, I just don't. Ugh. I don't. I don't want a deep cleaning. I, deep cleanings hurt so bad, man. Like, I will be, like, in tears from having a deep clean. It's, it's just so painful. But yeah, um, go to the dentist uh, every six months like you should. Um, yeah, that's my advice. <laughs> but I have to say, I stopped drinking pop. My gums don't hurt. They will numb you, you're good. Just gotta ask for the good stuff. <laughs> See, when I got numbed once, um, I think they just pulled some of my teeth out so I got numb, but like they just gave me um like something I bit down on to like numb my my um thing. Or like they just put like a gel or something. It it was supposed to numb, but it didn't numb. Like it didn't numb me at all. <laughs> I just remember it was just a it wasn't as painful, but it was still pretty painful. Even numbed. Yeah, I need the good stuff. Be like, give me the good stuff. Um, shit. I can't find this anywhere. I haven't looked that hard either. I'm lost, guys. But yeah, so, uh, I stopped drinking pop. The first two days were the worst. Um, simply because caffeine headaches are a real pain. Um, but after that, it's fine. I've been able to kind of stop drinking pop for a good amount of time. There's no problem with me telling myself to not have it. It's just the fact of when I get so bad with drinking pop that I'm like, I feel like I need it. Like, I shouldn't be saying I need pop. I should just be saying I really want pop. <laughs> but I don't need it. I don't need it. I know. This is like a whole, like, session today of just everything. This is this is a this is a stream, you know. This is a this is a conversation stream. But yeah, no, I've I've it's been it's been okay. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I can have pop again. The reason why I only said to do it, I started Friday morning and uh, I'm going until Wednesday morning tomorrow. The only reason why I said it like that is because tomorrow's my birthday, uh, and quite frankly, I know I'm gonna have pop. Um, but overall, the goal is just so that I could decrease my pop intake by, you know, completely cutting it off. And then after that, I'm hoping that I'll just drink less because I've gone so long without it. I'm like, okay, instead of drinking three cans a day like I was doing, I'll just do one. So I think tomorrow I'm going to have one pop and I think it's going to be when I get off work and go out to eat for my birthday or I don't know though I don't know because pop is expensive when you go out and get it <laughs> I can't it's a good stream good vent session yeah it is a good vent session I appreciate y'all for listening but honestly I'm so freaking lost guys like I'm <laughs> I'm so lost I can't find what I need <laughs> Uh, happy early birthday. Thank you, Joran. Yeah, I'm, uh... But, uh, I honestly, I'm not even celebrating my birthday until Saturday, but, um... I definitely know tomorrow at work is gonna be stressful, because we have a really big meeting. Um, so I didn't, I... What I really didn't want to do is set a goal where I'd be like, Oh my god, here it is. I finally found this. But what I really didn't want to go do... Ugh. 
what I really didn't want to do was set a goal and be like, I'm gonna go a whole week without pop, knowing I'd have a stressful week ahead and that I would probably crack. So instead what I'm doing is essentially like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna go without pop for this m many days. And then I'm gonna accomplish that goal, which I did. I, I essentially have done. Unless I crack and have a pop tonight, but I really don't see that happening. Um, but yeah, so it's like I hit that, and now I feel the satisfaction of like, oh yeah, I hit my goal. Like, I made it, I did it, and now it's gonna turn into, uh, okay, I hit my goal. So, and like, think about, like reflecting on that goal i'll be like oh yeah like i feel so great now because i don't have pop like i was kind of explaining it in the instagram story but i was like oh yeah like i absolutely hate like the feeling of pop when you've had so much pop and it just sits in your stomach and you just feel ill and like i haven't had that feeling in a while it's only when I eat chocolate. I still have a little bit of caffeine. I'm not gonna, you know, be like, oh yeah, I'm a changed person. I have no caffeine. Like, I know, I still, I still have my chocolate chip granola bars. Um, but yeah, it, it feels better not having that feeling. And so now that I'm like, oh, I get to have pop tomorrow. I'm almost like, do I want pop tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, we'll see, but oh my God, two health, two health. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh my god, don't aggro this warg. Don't aggro the warg. Ah, oh, god dang it, I aggroed some. But yeah, yeah. So I, I encourage you all to kind of do that. If there's something that you know that's in your life that's just kind of like, you feel like you need it in order to keep going, I'm telling you right now, man, unless it's not sh <laughs> the only exception is shelter food water well depending on the food um but you know your necessities you know y you need stuff to live and like keep doing that but At your service. if you're going At to starbucks your every day and you're like i need my starbucks in order to get through the day you might you might want to try this challenge out <laughs> And then you'll look back and be like, I just saved so much money. Like when I do my grocery list, do you know how much money I save? Every grocery list, I buy a 24 pack of pop and it's like 14 bucks. And then sometimes I'll just buy two so that way I, I can try to get ahead and not buy another pack the following week. But then I just end up drinking more quicker. Then I still end up paying for the week, the next week one. It, yeah. Do, do. Oh my god, how many other quests? The captain of things. Uh, do I want to go over there? I don't want to go over there. All right, I'm done. I'm 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 tired of Isengard for now. Let's go back. Oh, pfft, I went to get on my horse, not go to Lothorian. Whoops. Anyway. Oh. But yeah, it's going well. I'm drinking lots of water. I, and I, I have to say, so, uh, I looked, I've been trying to, like, lose some weight. Not necessarily on, like, uh, I want to look thinner thing. It's mostly just, uh, I want to feel better, like, Man, like, you know when you're gaining some weight that doesn't need to be on your body when your knees hurt. Um, and I'm kind of hitting that now, so I'm like, I don't want my knees to hurt all the time, so... I've been trying to work out, but... Because I drink so much pop, it's almost like doing a quick 10-minute workout doesn't really help much. Especially when I don't eat the healthiest either. Um... So yeah, so I I cut down the pop for a couple days and I've still like continued my same workouts and all of that. And I actually feel like I haven't lost weight or anything. In fact, I've gained weight. It's probably because of water weight or whatever. Or maybe just food, I don't know. But um, 
like I'm starting to get more defined in certain areas that I feel like pop was probably like fattening me in and now that it's out of my system it's like oh hey you know like I'm drinking lots of more water I'm getting more defined like more tone and I actually feel like my workouts are they matter now like they're actually working <laughs> so nice but yeah, I was drinking like maybe a bottle a day of water if I'm lucky. And now I'm up to almost like four to five bottles a day. And I feel pretty good. But the first two days sucked. Going without pop is it's difficult at first. The headaches are brutal. I took a lot of naps too. Okay, I gotta regroup for a second. All right, so let's say I could go back. Let me, yeah, let me go back. Let me do a stable master. Welcome, my friend. What is this place? Okay, um, so yeah. So anyway, more into the game. Um, I want to. I was getting kind of tired of Isengard just because. I don't like the music. It's quite depressing there. Um, I would like to focus a little more on the book quest for a second. Just because I feel like that's a decent place to start. We stride into a oh my god, I don't want to go to Eisendale. Alright, Will Frith. Alright, uh, he listens as you describe Nona and her determination to say Dunlendings in the service of Saruman. Uh, one seems much the same as any other to me, but I have not seen any of them fighting Munz himself. There was one thing, though not two hours ago, I heard the clash of sword on sword coming from the Warg Warrens. Okay, so we heard the clashing of two swords from how many areas away? And he was like, oh yeah, you should probably go investigate that. That was probably like 20 minutes ago, but still. Like, thanks, bro. <laughs> Your aid is welcome, friend. Aw, he seems so happy. It's like, yeah, you helped me. Thank you. Oh my god, how the heck did he hear his swords clashing from all the way over here? Insane. No way. Okay, I guess I'll take this because I'm heading in that direction anyway. Seek to dispel them at all costs. Dude, dude, he's got super hearing? I guess so. It's like, dude, like, what the heck? He's like, oh yeah, I just heard, like, some people fighting, like, all the way over there. Um, so if you could go investigate that, that's probably, like, you know, five hours ago, maybe. I'm sure they're still over there. Like, huh? Oh my goodness. Why does this man have super hearing? I do, I do, do, I do. Oh, wargs. I have to defeat wargs. Why? They're little- they're literally level 71. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Why are we doing this now? Let me pick on someone my own size, please. You defeat, uh, there's gold to the west. Gold? I saw a flash of gold, apparently. Dude, what is with these people and their abilities just to see or hear things from so far? Alright, I'm just gonna aggro everything. My god. Book bag. Do-do-do-do-do-do. 
dude. Owie. All right, I saw gold over here. Oh. Aw, oh, dang. It's the gold of the ring. You see it, guys? I saw that flaming hot ring from all the way over there. Uh, as you straighten up, you see another glint of gold from the west. I'm just following dead corpse. Oh, gosh. I do do. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, today's stream is going to be kind of shorter. Um... Just cause I, I've been ha I've been pulling out some pretty long streams lately, and um, I would like to catch up on some work today. Anyway, I'm trying to like get two videos done at the same time before the end of the week, cause I know that my weekend's gonna be so busy. Um, so I'm trying to get two ahead, but I haven't even gotten one of them done. I'm like not even halfway with either of them yet. It's gold. See another glint at the southwest? Oh! Alright, now we're talking. Wait. Oh, 117. I was like, wait, 177? I'll get that Slayer deed done right now. Thank you. That reminds me, do I need to work on deeds? Oh shit, I have a point. Let me get my fate. I'm almost completely done with the yellow tree. I'm so pumped. Oh my god, I actually could probably start working on some deeds. I hope we will find aid in time. Uh Hale, I I was told to expect you. You're highly regarded by many of our captains here in Dunlin, and I'm honored to make your acquaintance. There have been massive movements of Dunlin Ding's forces forces to and from Wolf's Cleef, and um we have much cleft, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it's a cleat. Uh, we have much work ahead of us. Okay. Minions Defeat patrols. Destroy banners. Okay. Shadows lie along our path. Oh wait, this wasn't even this wasn't even the gold I was supposed. To. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> oh whoops! I'm just doing some side quests real quick. Ah. I was like, yeah, why doesn't why doesn't the quest acknowledge that now I've like run into a living person? It's odd. Alright, I'm just gonna keep pressing through this. Uh I'm trying to think, is that seven year, yep. Yeah. I like to make my frames um equivalent to like just because I'm lucky, because I guess my account has been active for so long, but I'm trying to make my frames reflect how many levels I'm at so I'll go to like 7 for 70 like if I'm 70 or above that's why I like to keep that uh your suspicion was correct I do not expect to see you again friend I am pleased you still live I know Nona's awesome guys I do remember her and she kicked butt you must have heard rumor of me I was truly became Wadu's ghost and the gap of Rohan is my haunt my haunt I have made use of the bribing gold we recovered I find warriors who have sworn allegiance to Saruman, and I leave piles of coins for them to discover. When they pick them up, I fall upon them and claim my vengeance. Oh, so she's like, I'm gonna put this here for you to take, but I'm gonna kill you once you have it. That's a nice idea. Yeah, that's how I like to set up my frames. Put seven, seven year frame for 70, six year frame for 60, five year frame for 50, and about, yeah, you get it. I have thinned the, out the outliers of the army that have gathered, but it is not yet enough to pay for the death of my brother. Wadu's ghost still hungers for the blood of those who serve Saruman and kill in the name of the traitor wizard. Why did you search for me if not to join in my vengeance? Oh, oh crap! I'm gonna aggro this guy. I'm trying to have a peaceful moment with Nona, and you're ruining it, freaking warrior guy. Why anyway. Why search for me if not to join in my vengeance? Uh, uh, I have a troubling dream. Yeah, so we essentially had a really bad dream where Nona was in the dream and she would end up dying. 
Um, and I don't know if it was to save us necessarily. It was almost like she saw something. We both saw something. We felt something bad was going to happen. We saw Galadriel, and Galadriel was talking to us. And then when we looked to the side of us where Nona was, she was then um, on the floor, like she had been impaled or something, and she died. So we were like, what the frick? Um, that was our dream. Um, but yeah. When you have finished, she nods sage sagely. Dreams of this sort have meaning. My people know this well. Great harm has befallen those who ignore the warnings of dreams such as this. I will go with you to see this elf queen. Let us return first to my home. I must bid farewell to my father before we begin such a journey. I want to make certain that he is well before I go with you. Okay, well that's fine. I'm down for that. Doesn't sound like we're gonna fight. Sounds like we're just gonna chill with her. Uh, you searched the village, but found no sign of her father? I cannot find my father anywhere in the village. Before Wadu was slain, uh, her father used to go to the pool of the king to listen to the water and thinks. Perhaps he's there now. Find and talk to him at the pool of the king if he is there. Oh my god. Can I- can I use my horse? Okay, cool. Oh, I thought I was in an instance, but I'm not. So we're back, like, right in the beginning of Dun- Oh, sorry, we're not even in Dunlin right now. It's been a minute since we've been over here, dang. Wild. Wild child. Alrighty. Oh! Oh my god, this is such a cool place! How do I get over here? Oh! The last marker! We found it! Oh my gosh! Thank you, Nona, for letting me do this quest! Thank you! Oh, I love that! I'm so pumped about this. I literally had everything but one. It's only worth five points, but I mean, I'll take the five Lotro points, man. Nona has told me what you plan to do. And why? I will not keep you from this journey. Uh, elf dreams have power. Uh, we know this. We ignore the warning. We ignore their warnings at our peril. I wish to speak further with my daughter. Search through the pottery fragments that surround this pool for something she can bring with her on this journey to remind her of me. Sometimes things of value catch on the sides of pools. Old things, shiny things, pretty things. All right. So he just wants me to collect some trash so that he could potentially make something pretty for his daughter all right i found a gem let's go did you find something i did uh, you did i did i did i did I do not believe you will automatically travel to Lothorian. Damn, well, that's nice that we get an insta travel. All right, guys, we're back to Lothorian. Gosh, the good old day. Look at these old will quests. Nine, eight, and you guys. I get nothing from this. All right. Uh, oh. We do not allow outsiders oh, and fellow. Wood. Oh, we know this. To see the Lady I do. I would not keep you from her, Heriel, but I hear, I fear things are not so simple this time. This My orders forbid me. If, she is to enter. it forbids me from letting any unfamiliar folk into Lorien. This Dunlending girl who accompanies you cannot enter the wood. You tried to explain that the reason you brought her all the way remains, but he remains unconvinced. The stream of yours could mean something, but even if it does, it does not excuse me from my duty. Since I know you, Heriel, I will allow her to enter with you, but she must be blindfolded. I mean, that's fair. I'm okay if she's blindfolded. I hope she don't mind, but... I have the blindfold right here. <laughs> Sounds so weird. Could this you... Dunlending girl travels with you cannot be allowed to see the secret ways into Lothlorien. I must bind her eyes if she is to come with you to see the lady. Okay. <laughs> they actually put the blindfold on Nona. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at the blindfold. Oh, girly! 
Blindfold. <laughs> okay, sorry. Where did my guy go? I totally lost where he... Follow him through the woods. I totally lost him. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I guess I go this way. Wait, where is he? My quest updated to talk to him, but I completely lost him. I assume that we're going to... Uh-oh. I'm lost, guys. How did I get lost in my own instance? Alright, I'm trying the- I'm trying the tab. Oh, there he is! Wow, I was very far away from where he went. Oh, that's funny. That could have been so bad. Alright, uh, do, do, do. I think that's far enough. You may remove the blindfold now. Okay. We're not even close. We weren't even close. Anyway. Land is pretty one, as these elves seem fond of saying. But this is what daughter, uh, uh, oh. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I submitted to the binding of my eyes for your sake and to learn the secret behind your dream. But do not expect it again. Oh, she wasn't happy about it. I will leave this land with my sight unhindered, or these elves will learn a sharp lesson at the point of Wadu's blade. Damn, she's gonna threaten them? Gladriel, how are you doing? It's so good to see you! Look at her, she's so pretty! She's looking so awesome as ever. My queen! I did not expect you in Lothorian, Heriel. What need has driven you hither? When so many need your help elsewhere. You relate to Galadriel, the troubling image you, you behold in your dream, but your spirits fall when she betrays no sign of understanding. Your dreams are your own, Heriel. I had nothing to do with these images you saw. This dream you describe is very troubling. Much of it seems born out of worry for your friends, which is not unusual, but you saw more than that. Uh huh. Yes, Nona, there are forces in this world greater than any of us, even Galadriel? This purpose is hidden to me, and I can see only glimpses. And yet, even in the darkest of hours, hope can never truly be gone. Hello, Heriel. <gasps> Get off! We have both been through a great deal since we last met. And neither of us is the same person we were then were. We then were, sorry. I did not have the time to tell you what befell me since we parted. But know this, the quest remains. Your dream tells Gladriel more than she lets on, and it tells me more yet. Our friends face a grave danger along the, the Anduin. I hope it is not too late for them to avoid it. His eyes seem to pierce you and you shiver uncomfortably. There's something unfamiliar in this wizard's bearing. He reminds you of Saruman. Your dream may hold only a shred of truth, but even that could prove, prove vital. This is my guess, Uriel. I think you are needed along the banks of the Great River. Okay. Only there you can learn the purpose behind your dreams. Yeah, I figured we would be going there. I am needed elsewhere. You will have to serve. Mm, interesting. I'm sorry, it was good to see you. There's just much more that needs to be done. The eagles have proven able companions to me in the dark days. Uh, da, da, da. Da, da. I fought against fire and shadow in the depths of Borean on the peak, and when I returned to the world, I faced another foe from afar. These deeds have left me tired, and I will not speak of them now. We'll speak again. He trails away. He has a tone of anger, he continues. Perhaps they would have proven enough had we not stood around talking about them for so long. Oh my gosh, she got so ticked. I will send to bring you to the river. Gandalf believes that great evil uh, areas are absent friends. Perhaps your presence on the bank can prevent it. All right, Gandalf had to talk some sense. Uh, I do not know what to think of this Galadriel. Her words are fair, but beneath the surface she wields strength to match even the fiercest warrior of my people. I am surprised. 
Let us do as she says, and perhaps the answer to the riddle of your dream will be revealed along the river. All right, let's get to it. The Great River. Hey, let's go. Great River. Swan Fountain. There is a camp of elves let's go. How's it going, Davy? I love the emote. There's a camp of elves not far from here. It is an outpost from which my people watch for threats from the south. If you wish to know what has been happening along the river, that's a good place to start. All right, I'll take it. Hello? Might you spare a moment of your time? Uh, glad you're passing through this part. Uh, I've heard that there's some strange signs of trespassing. Search the river's edge. That's uh, such a low-level quest. Oh my gosh, what are these quests? Man, I've actually never been here. I've never done any quests at the Great River. This river does seem hella great, though. I said it. It's a great, great river. Okay. All right, the first outpost is over there, too. Wow, we're halfway to leveling. That's insane. Uh, I don't see any nets over here. I'll go swimming. I'll try swimming! That's a good trick! Instead of spinning. <laughs> Doing great. Sort of, uh... So pretty here. I kind of like it. Kind of peaceful. Oh, got stuck. Ah, I see more nets over there. Come on. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something particular, I guess. What the heck, man? I just need one more thing! What am I looking for? Do I need to swim? Maybe I need to swim. Over to a little rock or something. Oh my gosh, it's right up here. There we go. Don't get caught in the current. Yeah, that's true. I would easily die do? from that. Search nearby for a sign of trespassers. Okay. Who's trespassing on our parts? Ooh, a horseshoe. Oh wait, the the trespasser. Wait, isn't the aren't those our people? Isn't it like Frodo and like the whole freaking fellowship? Cause they're trying to make their way into Rohan. Man, I gotta say we really did do a disservice because we we really left like um Dumlin at a really peak time. Find a hiding place, whistle at a nearby fisherman to scare him. Simon. This seems messed up. But I'm gonna go do it just because I really want to see what this is about. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Uh, I'll probably end stream in like 10 minutes or so. Just because I kind of want to keep it short today. Short and sweet and I gotta go get some dinner. Orky, orkies. Oh, there's the fisherman. Oh my gosh, thank you for the follow. Is it Kindriel? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the weird community. Hope you're having a good day. Good place to hide? I'm literally in the broad of daylight. Oh wait, that's not the fisherman. Where is the fisherman? What nearby fish? Oh wait, is this the fish? I'm not scaring anyone, this is... Oh, 
let's do this. No, nope, not scaring him. Let's try this one. My birthday last month in March. And I'm not Tom, by the way. Oh, <laughs> it's your birthday tomorrow. Yeah, my birthday is tomorrow. Okay. I'm trying to mumble at some people. Let's mumble. Okay, this isn't a hiding place. There we go. These woods just aren't right. <laughs> oh, played this game daily for 11 years straight. Fave is my 140 Huntress. Yeah. Do we do love roar? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is such a funny quest. He trembles. This is so fudged. <laughs> I will leave here, I promise. <laughs> That's so messed up. Krakalo, I'm on Krakalo too. Whoa, go on. Happy birthday. Thank you, Davey. Yeah, my birthday's tomorrow. I got a 56 minstrel. Oh, nice! Dude, I love me a good minstrel. My minstrel's my highest. Uh, my minstrel's currently sitting at, like, I think it's 108. When I get my vacation pay in May, I'll transfer my account to ARC. To ARC? Oh, Ark and Stone, I got you. I got 16 tunes, all 120 and 140. Oh, dang, nice. See, that's my goal. I wanna get every single class to the max, but I'm not I'm not even close. I, I've played this game off and on since the beta, um, but I have not, I haven't really maxed out a character in a long time. I maxed out my level 100 character when that was the max then, what but do you need? I think it was like 105 was the max or something. No, it was, it was 100. 100 was the max. But that's cool. Gotta love it. Uh, am I being slow? I can't find my scholarly thing I want. Here we go. Hunter, Runekeeper, and Champs are all mega OP at level 100 plus. Man, I bet. I haven't had I ha this is my highest level of rune keeper yet. Um hunters are really good, period, oh, honestly. Beta in 2006? Yes. I think it was 2006, right? 2007. I'm trying to math and it's not working. Um champions are cool too. I do like them. Guards are rockers with tanking, for sure. I'm not a big guard fan, though. I really don't like guardians. I'm not a tank person. I'm, I'm just... I ain't about that tank in life. I love, like, your your healers and stuff. That's why I really gravitated with the minstrel. Um, and then I also... Uh, that I think that's why I like runekeepers, because it's kind of like the middleman, where you have good heals. Oh, shit. Uh, I'll just toss all those. Where you have good heals, but you also, um... You can still do really good damage. And I mean, Minstrel can too, but, um... You, will find much you have to, like, change stances and stuff, and that's what I don't really care for. I sell all this junk. I could probably get rid of some of my potions. I have too many. Good enough for me. Uh, where did, uh, you were five? I wasn't five. I was six? Yeah, I was six. Six sounds right. Am I? I gotta look this. I feel like Lotra came out in two thousand seven. Two 
Yeah, it came out in 2007. Yeah, I was six years old when I first started playing Lotro. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was a six-year-old. I was a youngie. Well, because this is how I played Lotro was, um, my dad will allow me on his account. So that's why I didn't get it. My account's only 10 years old. It'll about to be 11. Um, because I was so young. <laughs> Um, so I played on my father's account for a, a long time, um, but uh, he allowed me to like make a character under his account. So I ended up choosing Loremaster, hated it, um, and I switched over to Hunter, and I got that to around level forty, I think. Um, and then the thing with my father and I is that he he lives in florida and i live in ohio so very vast difference so it's not like i was able to play the game all the time when i was young but when i had a computer um which i think i got when i was about 12 yeah it was like 11 or 12 when like the computer was officially mine and i could download whatever i wanted on it and then that's when i got lotro and then that's when i made this account and all that Guardians are great off, off tanks, but they can't taunt as good as guards. Yeah, I don't like wardens. I have a whole thing with wardens. If you watch my YouTube videos, I, I people just ram me for that. <laughs> uh, Cappies are also good off tank group healers with their marks. Yeah, they're pretty good. Captains are okay. Um, do, do, do. Minis, Cappies, and Bjorns are the best group healers. Loremasters stock with healing. Yeah, Loremasters. I don't- I'm not really a huge fan of Loremasters, really. I ha- I- I only have a level 50 Loremaster. The earth has been disturbed here. Does it signify the Fellowship Passage? I feel like this is where we were in my dream. It was over here. Oh, here we go. There's a scout. A slain scout. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering what server is least laggiest, or are they all more or less? They all kind of are. Um, I like Crick Hollow, though, because it is one of the smaller um, servers, but it still has like a good amount of community aspects to it. Was your dad on on Windfalla? No, we only play on Gladden. That was like the only server we ever played on was Gladden. <laughs> and so now that I'm on Crick, it's kind of odd. Pretty good playing MMO that young. My nephew played EverQuest at 8. Got pretty high level. Nice. Yeah, see, I, I wasn't able to like grind. So like, this is a thing with my dad and I. Um, my parents were divorced. They've been divorced since I was 6 months old. So, I've never really had like a, like a mom-dad thing, but... Um, and my dad's like, I don't know how to say this, but he's not financially well off at, at the slightest. I mean, neither of my parents are, but like my mother was able to at least get help and sustain herself to support me, but my father not really so much. So um, I only got to see him like, God, I think only like two summers. I had like two summers where I stayed with him when I was younger, but that was like the only time I got to play. My mom absolutely hated video games. She blames video games for their divorce, more or less. So um, she was not about me playing video games at her house. So when I went to my dad's in the summer, that's when I played Little Tro. And then after that, I never touched it. <laughs> then I'd go back in the summer and I would game some Lotro. And then when I got my first computer, it wasn't even a computer. It was just because I was the one who used the computer the most, our family computer. And it was a Dell. And I made it into a gaming computer. Don't ask me how. I just plopped the graphics card in it and I said, here we go. And it worked. And I played Lotro. The rest is history. At 140, uh, Warmasters are great with crowd control. I have two or three on Gladden. Crick is okay. That's my main. I want to leave a server, not a fun server anymore. Yeah, it's okay. It's definitely, I don't really like Arkenstone because it's just too much for me lately. Um, Gladden's okay. I don't really like Gladden as much, but I would still keep all my characters on Gladden. I, I essentially have characters on every server. <laughs> you missed the quest, turn in. Oh, well, yeah, 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 I know. I was just trying to get the stuff. 
I want to upgrade my vid card from a 1070 to a 3070 if I can. You're probably going to need, I don't know your situation. The one thing I totally did not even contemplate uh, when I got my custom PC done, which I just got done in October, but um, I, my thing was I was just going to buy a 30, I have a 3070, I was going to buy a 3060 graphics card and I didn't realize how freaking huge these were. So like um, legit, even on my custom, um, the guy who built my custom, he's um, a friend, but he legit was like, I'm actually gonna have to charge you more because I have to get a bigger build for your, like your PC. And I was like, okay. And then like when I got my big ass PC, I was like, I see because this graphics card literally takes up like all the space still. So just gotta keep that in mind. It's definitely a, a big difference. You can have uh, Lutro on a 64 bit car and a gig of RAM with Windows XP. That's literally what I did. I did that for, I think about six years. Bef six years? That doesn't sound right. I think I did that until I was I think I did that until I was like 17 and then I got rid of the computer and I stopped gaming entirely. I didn't have a computer for I think about two years because I just started college and I was like I I was like I don't need a computer like I don't I don't want to go back to gaming like I don't like it and then COVID hit. <laughs> And here we are! <laughs> That's so funny. I do remember there was a time when I was in college where I was like, I don't think I'm ever gonna get a PC again because like I just don't want a game. Like, because I'd been out of gaming for so long and I just didn't really feel the need to go back. Crazy how COVID hit and it changed everything. <laughs> uh, that's when I started the game, but the lag was super laggy, lol. I used to crash the game like dozens of times. Brie was super hard to get through on the horses and run through. Yep, me too. Me too. I was there. I would always avoid Brie. I couldn't imagine trying to avoid Brie. It's like the best place to be. The best it's hub. Not the first friend we have lost, but that makes it no easier. Oh, I have to get work now. Dang. Yeah, it's crazy. Life's so odd, isn't it? But yeah, I had like a, a like a Dell computer. It ran Windows 7. Um, it was not a gaming computer. I literally plopped a graphics card in there. My dad put it in uh, for me. And yeah, rest is history. <laughs> I did not get my first gaming PC until COVID. So I was legit, oh God, how old was I then? I was 19 when I got my first gaming PC, like an actual gaming PC. That was literally three years ago. <laughs> it's my three year anniversary of a gaming PC, guys. That's so funny. So funny when you think about it like that. I totally forgot that I, I did tell myself I was gonna swear off like all games and I never understood the point of why people would play games all the time. I was like, I used to be that person and I don't get it now. And my mom was so happy. And now all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> hey, I stream. My mom's like, oh God. <laughs> I remember when the level 85 area was just launched and they had a glitch that you could fish a river turtle and leash like a hundred turtles and Bree and OMG the havoc and <laughs> confusion and chaos that they ripped in Bree when they unleashed level 85 river turtles all over Bree. I actually, and now that you say it, I kind of remember that. I do kind of remember that because I, re I remember I, I would... I don't think I ever got killed in Bree, thankfully, but I remember being a low level and I would see stuff like that happening. Like I would see a high level around in Bree and I was like, what the heck? Like someone must have glitched this or something. Um, that's funny. Did you just love the little Lutra glitches? 
now we have this really big rock that was blocking everyone's way from uh, over by the Greenway Fort, and now it's like a whole memorabilia. <laughs> Yeah, Bree is the starting area and it's like level 1 through 20 and level 85. River Turtles all over Bree was like WTH? Heck yeah. It was like that. Oh, let me get me my... My stuff. Some scholarly things over here. Everyone getting into Brie was being slaughtered, plus hundreds of them all over the place was lagging Brie big time. Dude, I remember the Brie lags. That was a real issue. God, there's so many things that have happened. I will never forget the time that I was farming in Brie and a flippin' captain came up to me and did like the, um, God, what is it? It's like the AoE scream ability, essentially. And he just came up and he ran up to me and did it. And legit, it killed me. It killed me. He didn't have me targeted, but like the impact alone just slaughtered me. I'll never forget that. It ticked me off so bad. There's just some weird things that happen in Lotro. We just can't explain. The staff had to fix the glitch in a hotfix like two days, so they banned the ones that unleashed the turtles for like a week or two weeks. That's so funny. Imagine, you're just unleashing turtles, killing players, and you get banned. <laughs> I would take advantage of it, probably. I'm gonna take this off. Okay, so I'm gonna turn in this quest and then I'm just gonna end stream. I just wanna have a shorter stream today. Um, and I'm gonna go get food. It's getting dark out, so I don't wanna be out too late. It's only like a 10 minute drive, but it's just been a really weird day. I don't, I don't feel like 100% um, so, yeah. Love you, hope you stream again soon. Aw, thanks. Thanks, Prince. I, I will. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'll be back next Tuesday. I was gonna try to stream tomorrow, but I realized I actually have, after work, I have an after work meeting. Um, so, then I have to go out to eat tomorrow, so I probably can't stream tomorrow, but I really wanted to. It was on my list. It really was, um, but I will, I will definitely be live again on Tuesday. Um, and I'll probably be live for a good amount of a weekend at the end of April, like going into May, um, for some Jedi survivors. So keep an eye on, on that too. Remember when the level 75 area of Isengard came out? You went to the place just before you get to Isengard into the Iron Pit. OMG, that place was majorly glitchy. Really? I hope tomorrow's a blast for you, and again, happy birthday, y'all. Oh, thanks, Arocalypse. I appreciate. I thank you for the help. I'm worried. My people have Ooh, never gotten hiccup. along with the horse lords. Uh, mm hmm We will need to go that way if we learn the reason of the dream. I will travel with you to this village. Look at Nona. She, she's such a real one. She said, "If I must." <laughs> Uh, I will stay my hand and tongue for your sake, but I will suffer no insult. Okay. Do do. All right, I'm gonna sell real quick too. 
delight in the splendors of Lothlorien. Ugh, I have so much I need to do in this game. It's so bad. E is there a mail but oh, thank gosh. I need a mail. A mail box. Uh hmm. What am I supposed to I'm trying to see real quick, um which characters are what? Okay, so my war master is my tinker. So anything with that stuff can go to her. Uh, <laughs> I think that's it. What else is she? She's a cook? A cook, okay. Uh, sorry, I know this isn't a fun way to go out on stream, but I gotta do it at some point, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta do the things. I can't remember. Candle wax is for scholars. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, hides. I need a forester, though. I do have one. But I'll wait to give that to him. Oh, I forgot to send this over for the jeweler. Okay. All right. I think. Actually, let me do this. Let me send this over. There we go. All right, now I got a little more space anyway. I feel better. Okay, uh, I guess I'll set my milestone. Well, should I set my milestone here? I guess I'll set my milestone to the um, main location once we move, press onward. We're Hydrate Corby. Welcome, thank you for stopping in. Ah, thank you for the weird hydrate. Hi, friend. Hey, friend. How's it going? Uh, I can always add your other tunes to your friends list. Yeah, I think I, I think I did that. Honest. <laughs> That's so sad. I did, <laughs> and it shows you what they are. I'm just being slow today. Is all apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, that way you don't have it on a piece of paper. Yeah, I have it on my phone's app. I don't know why. I just prefer it that way. I'm a weirdo. If you made it through the invisible hole, went to the top, started to walk on the platform that was above. Wee! You went through another hole and fell even further to your death. Just today? Yeah, that's what happening. Just today. Uh, we're about to wrap up stream. Who is this person? I see my father. He literally bought an increase. Oh, wait. Let me see. Um... Sorry, I want to check out the Valor real quick because people were asking me in the YouTube comments as well about the Valor, um, the, the, the uh, sale for it. So if you wanted to boost up, oh my god, I don't even see the 140 boost. Wow, these are insane prices. Essentially, if you want to boost up to anything, you're going to probably pay about 5,000 Lotro points. 5,356. Which is insane. The cheapest one you could get um, is worth 2,396 points. So, keep that in mind. Mithril's on sale too? Oh, buddy! buying me some mithril tonight i freaking love mithril man i love it but my my points are so limited I'm, i've been trying to save up for the same damn thing forever i haven't made it like a priority to like grind and save it but you can be slow any day you want <laughs> yes i will be i will be i don't recommend boosting on your first character ever yeah, I actually am so against boosting and just in general. It's something that does not appeal to me whatsoever simply because I feel like I'm just killing the only thing I like doing, which is grinding. <laughs> I'm killing the grind, but to each their own. I just don't see the purpose, quite frankly. Um, What am I looking for? I'm looking for someone to raid. Let's go see. 
who they could raid. Who is on tonight? Wow, there's lots of people on tonight. Oh my god, there's a good amount of people on tonight. Oh my god, it looks like someone's streaming then doing music. Oh my god, it's a band. It's for a band. Oh, do you guys want to go check out the Lotro band? I think we should go check out the Lotro band. I think that's awesome. I love supporting the bands, man. They got the hardest freaking thing. If, if they'll let me raid this band. Yeah, let's go. Let's raid the band, man. I'm so impressed. But anyway, yeah, like I said, uh, so there, there will be a new YouTube video out on Friday. I'm going to try to push it out. Don't be surprised if it gets pushed back, though. It could happen. Because um, I'm I'm trying my hardest to kind of get ahead and get two done. But it's just going to be a crazy schedule going forward. So, yeah. Uh, copy and paste the sub raid message and the raid message if you are not subscribed already. Uh, Yep, new YouTube video out, Lotro information, education, stuff, you know, learn more, some tips, you know, so it's fun. Uh, I will be streaming again next Tuesday at 6 p.m. EDT, as always. Uh, and I think that's it. I'm going to be posting some, um, I got to do this, so if I say it, then maybe I'll do it. But um, I'm going to be posting, like, some Mother Day gift idea for some Lotro Um some Lord of the Rings inspired things because I've actually been thinking about getting like I've been trying to plan ahead and get some Mother's Day stuff going so if you know anyone in your life who's a Lord of the Rings fan I'm gonna like put together um a panel probably down below that you could check out just to give you some ideas anyway because I feel like that would be really cool um yeah I think that's all I hope you all had a great night um sorry it's a short one but I appreciate you all for being here as always I got cut off. I'm so sorry, guys, but thank you. Have a good night.